Hi guys, so I'm just going to make a wee informational video on how to break in and start a Suzuki 2.5 horsepower 4 stroke motor. So outside I've got my marine engine oil, but I don't need that um, because the guys at uh, Clyde Outboards have already done that for me. And I can see that it's between the minimum and maximum levels. It's the exact same as a car, as long as, long as it's between minimum and maximum and it's not over maximum and it's not below minimum, we're good to go. So all I need to do is add a wee bit more fuel and um, and just start her up. Um, so stay tuned. We'll see how we go on. So all I've done here, guys, is I've mounted um, the engine to a wheelie bin. Nothing, nothing complicated about that. And I'm making sure that the water is not going to run above this marker. So I'll let it go up to just below here, just below the nuts here and, um, and then I'll just start her up um, and it's a cold start so what this means is if you get that to stay in I can't <laughs> I'm gonna prime it and then I'm gonna so that's I'm selecting not neutral, but this, and then I'm just going to go for it, so I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So the best four stroke outboard engine oil that you can buy is Quicksilver because it's marine grade and I learned that from Drew Cuthbert, so a shout out to Drew, El Capitan, who always keeps me right down the Muller Gallery and now that I've kind of entered the sub world, um, he's kept me on the straight and narrow with um, basically the whole setup. So a big thank you to him, and I'll hopefully meet meet up with him for a cast soon, maybe even this weekend. But that's the stuff that you need to be putting in your engine. And right there, I can see that there's oil present, and it's not below the minimum here, and it's not above the maximum. It's there's there's oil present, so that's what we want. Then all I need to do is add some fuel before we get underway. It's actually there's actually a good good amount of fuel that the guys have gave me with it. So I'm going to strap this GoPro to my head. And always put in the premium stuff, the Ron 97. Pretty sure the that's plenty, as you can see. Don't fill it right at the way up, there's no need. That's us sorted for that. So so not above here, not above there, perfect, just need to turn the bottom off. So as per the instructions, break-in, so the break-in period is 10 hours. For the first two hours, I'm going to let it idle for five minutes. Allow it to warm up, just following the instructions. And then I'm going to I'm going to put it into gear on the lowest throttle possible for a good 15 minutes. And I'm just going to do that basically for, it says an hour and 45 minutes. I'll do that for an hour and um, the other 45 minutes and they're on will be on the water on Saturday so make sure the the motors in the water and it's um it's not again it's not over the plaque make sure that the air vent the fuel just to let the, the fuel breathe 
that's loose and there was a, a vacuum you could hear so when it was tight screw it off until you hear the, the loss of air and then you're good to go then switch the, cop, the fuel cock lever to the left so it's currently off it's now on so there's fuel now able to circulate the engine so then this makes sure it's in neutral or the bin will go flying so this is a gear selector here so it's in the neutral position neutral forward neutral forward so that's neutral that would be forward so it's in neutral And then we're going to prime it. So if the engine fails to start, so the choke knob needs to be fully out. So this is fully out, it's not going to go any further, so that's it fully out. Ensure that the throttle here not on neutral or whatever that is it's in here for a cold start up and all I'm going to do is the fuel's on we're in neutral so all I need to do is pull three times and hopefully the engine will start up and I'm not going to do anything with it I'm not going to rev it I'm not going to put it in gear, I'm just going to let it warm up for 5 minutes. So the GoPro goes on my head. And that's all I'm going to do for 5 minutes. Make sure that the water's coming out the water jet and that's all I'm going to do for 5 minutes. So as I was saying, like you wouldn't have been able to hear me, that's full, that's full up here, but I'm only just going under half, quite a bit below half, for about an hour, and I'm going to do it in 15-20 minute stints, and then when I get on the water, I'll have about an hour, and then I can uh, build it up to three quarters, so after the kind of Two hour mark, that's when I can near enough go flat out, but not not any longer than five minutes at a time. So now that the engine is warm, I can um, start it up for a warm start. So fuel goes on, that's in neutral, and then it's as simple as that. It, should, it probably will start first time. Make sure that 
the fuel can breathe then it's just pick up the slack Gear. Just like that. 